but we'll get to a few more of those here in a bit. First, joining me from Toonzium is Joe Woods. Joe, 2011 was a pretty big year for the Toonzium. How about you fill in the people on what happened? Well, it was just really exciting. We, we had, you know, moved just two years ago from our home in the Children's Museum of Pittsburgh to downtown Pittsburgh's Cultural District, and it's just been exciting. Um, we had some wonderful exhibits covering everything from Looney Tunes to our superheroes, icons, and origins. We had remarkable guests. Um, Jerry Robinson, who just passed away, the creator of The Joker, was here. Um, Chris Nolan filmed Batman directly out in front of the Toonzeum, which uh, we saw a lot of visitors from that, a lot of Bat tourism, which was a new thing for us. So everything from great exhibits to great programs, it, it truly was an exciting year. Now, you currently expanded the space downtown. So what can the people look forward to in 2012? Well, it, it was absolutely just thrilling. We got to name the new gallery after Lou Scheimer. Lou Scheimer is the founder of Filmation Studios, um, best known for their work on He-Man, She-Ra, Fat Albert, many of these great legendary iconic shows. Um, so that was a great honor to be able to name it after a man from Pittsburgh who went on to such greatness. So we have a really high standard uh, to hold up in this gallery. Uh, so you can expect to see a lot of great exhibits. Um, we're going to continue that high standard, just wonderful quality exhibits for the whole family. Um, but you'll also see a little edgier stuff in here, too. Uh, we have an exhibit from Jim Rugg, who is a local cartoonist, uh, who has done remarkable work on Aphrodisiac and Street Angel. You're also going to see a lot more animation uh, art in here. Uh, we have an exhibition called Funky Turns 40, which will be opening in February, which features African-American characters in animation. So uh, everything from Fat Albert uh, all the way through the Jackson 5. So it's a really neat selection. And then lots more programming. Um, we were honored to have, receive a grant from the Sprout Fund to create the Cartoon Comics Reading Courtyard. So this spring, you'll be able to come to the Toonzeum, sit outside in our brand new courtyard, and read comics. I mean, who could ask for more of their lunch hour? Exactly. It seems that the Toonzeum is doing a lot to make this block of liberty a little bit better each time it does something new. Um, what are some things that we can look forward to in that process? Well, we love being on the 900 block at Liberty. It is one of those exciting, most vibrant spaces in downtown Pittsburgh, and it really is a neighborhood with a real sense of community. Um, and we try to collaborate with all our neighbors. That's everything from the bars next door to Bricolage, who have been a fantastic partner to the August Wilson Center as well. Um, so we're always looking for ways to celebrate on this block. Uh, this really block is about celebration. It really is a great place to have fun and, and really um, examine a lot of the issues, too. Um, you know, this block is uh, where they host Pride Fest. It's also where the August Wilson Center for African American Arts is. So it's a really a block that has a, a really diverse audience. So we try and celebrate that diversity. Uh, last year, we hosted our first Downtown Heroes block party. You can expect to see that grow bigger and better. Uh, we're working with a block-wide initiative of the of Neighbors on 900 to do some things with interesting things with lighting and artwork on the block. Um, and once we have our courtyard, you can see us really literally open up the museum beyond its walls and reach out into the neighborhood in a very direct way. So we're excited to be a part of 900, and we hope a lot of people will come down and visit and see what's going on here. And finally, do you have any personal resolutions for 2012 or any Pittsburgh-related resolutions for the new year? I absolutely do. I mean, on a personal level, I've dedicated a lot of time to the Toonzeam and, and will continue to do so. But uh, I'm looking forward to focusing a little bit on some of my own cartooning work, getting back to sort of my roots as a cartoonist. Uh, I'm working on publishing a book at my mazes. So that's definitely something that's a resolution for me. Uh, for Pittsburgh, I love this city, um, but I do have a couple resolutions. I want to be able to get a hot dog wrapped in bacon at 2 a.m. Um, outside of one of the bars downtown Liberty Avenue. So more food vendors would be great. Uh, they have this other thing in cities that's sort of magical. You stick your hand out and a cab appears. That would be nice for the city. Um, and I guess on the positive side, I, I'm, I'm going to stop re referring to the uh, parking authority as the Legion of Doom um, and just refer to them as Skeletor. Yeah, fantastic. Well, we look forward to everything that Tunzium does. So good luck in the new year, and thank you for hosting us. Thank you. Lots going on, so stay tuned.